Ronda Lyon plunged to her death in a dramatic climax on Wednesday to the Empire season cliffhanger. The hit hip-hop TV show ended its previous season with Andre Lyon's wife tussling violently with Anika Calhoun, cutting to a scream suggesting one of them falling. The answer finally arrived at the beginning of the new season as Ronda, played by Caitlin Doubleday, smashed into the top of father-in-law Lucius Lyon's limo as he went to leave his shock wedding to Annika. Lucius, played by Terence Howard, had just asked where Andre was when his son's wife plunged to her death, with the music mogul and his family staring in disbelief at her body lying in the wrecked roof of his car, blood trickling out of her mouth. Andre played by Tri Byers, had arrived at the deadly scene just before his wife toppled over, and quickly pounced on her killer, grabbing Annika around the throat as he screamed, You killed my wife! She attacked me, Andre! Annika pleaded, before the sound of flowing water made them realize her water had broke and she was about to have the baby of Andre's brother, and her new husband Lucia's son, Hakeem Lyon, played by Bryshear Gray. The realization snapped Andre out of his rage and he instead carried her to help, with the family next seen at hospital where she was about to give birth. Lucius showed no interest in supporting Annika, his ex who he married just to prevent her being forced to be questioned by federal agents, until he saw police officers arriving in the hospital. That was enough to send him into the delivery room, pretending to encourage his new wife to push out the baby but instead whispering in her ear a warning about what she had to tell the police. After pretending to encourage her to push, he whispered, Speaking of push, you see the cops out the window right now. Nobody pushed Tronta, she jumped, you tried to stop her, she overpowered you trying to take you with her, grabbing you by the throat. Which is what's going to happen if you don't go with the story, you hear me. Annika, played by Grace Geely was shown sobbing at his warning, then giving one final push to deliver her baby. But Lucius once again looked furious when told it was a girl, rather than the boy he had been told she was having, telling Annika menacingly, You lied to me. Hakim missed the birth of his daughter as he was so drunk and furious at his father marrying the mother of his child, and at what had supposed to have been his own wedding, that he went to his ex girlfriend's house and passed out, missing all his calls but he was clearly upset at learning his father had put himself down as the dad on the birth certificate, accusing him of doing it to teach me a lesson. However, the reason appeared to go deeper, and Lucius repeatedly called himself the baby girl's daddy, at one point taking her out of Hakim's arms the first time he held her, complaining about all these strangers touching her. To keep the feds away, Lucius had made sure Annika moved into his home, much to his mother's anger. Seeing her arrive at the house, his mom carried a large kitchen knife and menacingly said, I don't know why my son married you. You're about as trustworthy as a snake in a hamster cage. I got my eye on you, sister. The marriage and new living arrangements was also enough to finally end things for Cookie Lion, played by Taraji P. Hansen, and her ex-husband, with her telling him, I need you to hear me loud and clear, Lucius. What me and you had is dead. You married now. You ruined it. Forever. Enjoy married life. She later agreed to divide their dealings, with her working on the music and him the business, to keep distance, telling him, if you love me the way you say you do will give me what I'm asking you for. However, she was still willing to help pretend they still had a tight family bond when Tariq. Lucia's half-brother who is also an undercover FBI agent plaguing the family, started getting even heavier-handed. You don't need a warrant, bruh. Your family to me. You're welcome anytime, Lucius had told him as he confronted him outside his home, instead inviting him to dinner. As Cookie, Annika, his mother and children all sat at the table, Tariq tried to rattle them all individually questioning why they would stand by so loyally to Lucius after the terrible treatment he had dealt them. He called Cookie the biggest loser here, saying she was always second fiddle to this mulatto bitch as he pointed to Annika. Annika then played her part, insisting this marriage is very real and going in for a slow kiss with her new husband, who stopped her hand grabbing him intimately to avoid Cookie having to watch. 
Seemingly defeated, Tariq left after Cookie definitely asked, You want a to go plate? But the episode ended as he was seen watching a video screen having planted a surveillance camera in a teddy bear's eyes in the baby room, catching Lucius talking to the newborn. Everything I did was to protect my legacy and would I do it again, yes I would, Lucius told the child, with Tariq listening. Wait until we show them how dark hell can get. More instability appeared said as Andre was seen having yet another breakdown, sobbing that his wife's murder was his fault, and then seeing her in apparitions. Andre did mess up, but you should have thought of that before you let that bitch murder me, her vision told him, warning, without me, you're just some Philly thug with mental problems. The episode also featured guest appearances by French Montana and Birdman who arrived at Lucius' luxurious lakeside estate as he tried to sign them to his new music streaming service, Empire's Stream. Empire's falling to the bottom of the ocean, man, Birdman told him. Your stock's down, everything about you is going to the bottom of the ocean. You're a titanic boat. You're right where the anchor's at, French smiled, adding that there was a bad vibe from his marrying his ex. Zibit also played a larger role as his character Shine Johnson got heavy-handed trying to get his artist Nessa, played by singer Sierra McLean, a major deal. Lucius eventually agreed to let Nessa join his son Jamal at the Empire's Dream launch event, but laughed about how he had tricked Shine as her microphone would not even be on. But at the event, broadcast live across Times Square, the flash of a camera gave Jamal a flashback of his recent shooting sending him into a dizzy panic attack and having to leave off stage. Newcomer Nessa eventually took over his lead vocals on the song, a tribute to real-world shootings with the lyrics mentioning Orlando, Sandra, Mike Brown, Garner, Travon, and getting a wild response to her amazing voice. Looks like we got more business to discuss. Partner, Shine smiled at a furious Lucius once she was done. Lucius who had pretended to pull a trigger with his fingers at Jamal when he was recovering, accused him of deliberately trying to punk me, screaming, You little son of a bitch, you almost deep-sixed us. This whole family, this empire, we're all going to continue to go down if we follow you, Jamal replied defiantly. You and I know that's true. Ain't none of you better than me, but you eat because of my dirty work and then bitch about it, Lucius replied. The season premiere also featured a flashback of Cookie as a girl meeting Lucius for the first time. Empire returns next week on Fox.